All right, folks, we've got some new stuff kind of coming your way. What we're going to be doing is having some live stream classes coming up. Uh, what this means, it is not going to be the entire class. It's going to be the notes and guided practice part and the welcome message and everything else is going to be just like you were still doing. Uh, so you'd have to do the bell work on your own. You'd have to do the um, independent practice and the exit ticket on your own and any other parts. We'll have these on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I'm not doing it on Friday because Friday is the test day. So test day, you should know how to get logged in to test. Actually, we'll be doing some tinkering with that. And hopefully it's gonna work. So it sh shouldn't be so complicated for some folks. Some pe people seem to be having problems getting into the test. Uh, so hopefully with this new fix, it won't be as much of an issue. But with that said, let's go over some steps about how you're going to get logged in to uh, these live streaming classes. The live streaming classes are going to meet from 12 to 12.30, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, okay? So you should have received an email in your student email account that tells you uh, about some a new Microsoft Office, Microsoft Teams account. You'll be uh, getting into that and we'll be looking at that. There should be some invites for you uh, for some live streaming classes. I'm not sure if the invites actually go out or not. It might just be that you're part of a class and you have to go in and see that because it's not a specific invite, but you'll know where to go by watching this video. You'll know exactly how to get logged in. This will be up on my page. I'll put it on the front, um, front page to see how to get those live streaming classes, okay? Uh, all right, so the first thing you're going to do, step one, you're going to go to office.com. So go into your search browser and at the top type in office.com and it should take you to a site where you will have another username and login, which will be great. Uh, so you're going to click when you get to there. So this is what office.com looks like. You're going to find where it says sign in. The nice thing about this is once you sign in the first time, the rest of the times you can set it up so it automatically gets there for you. So that's a beautiful thing if you're the only one using that computer. If you're not, that may cause some issues where you need to sign out and sign in under a different username. All right, so when you get click that sign in, you should see a page that looks like this. You're going to click right here and you're going to enter your school email account. Okay, so it should be uh, your first and last name, last two, of your lunch number and then at wcpsstudent.org. Once you click here, you'll click next once that's entered in. And now you need to enter your password. What is your password for this? It's that capital WCPS and then your lunch number. No spaces, any of that. Capital WCPS, lunch number. Okay, click sign in once you do that. And then what you need to do, you'll see a pop-up screen that comes up like this. Um, if you're using this computer, the computer that you're getting signed in, if you're using that computer exclusively, it's just you using it, it's not a school computer, what I want you to do is click yes to this here and click don't show this again. That means when you go there, it's gonna sign you in automatically, easy peasy, you'll be good to go. If you are the, if you're sharing this computer, you're going to need to click no, and you'll probably want to click don't show this again, but that means each time you're going to have to sign in on your own, All right? So then once you get logged in, you'll see a screen like this. This is the welcome screen, and there's actually all kinds of stuff in here that you can go in, great products, all that kind of stuff. But the only thing I'm showing you today, the only thing we're worried about is finding the teams icon. It looks something like this. It's blue. It's got a, T, a white T, kind of like a shield, and then a couple people. Uh, if you click right there on that, that should take you to this next screen that looks like this. Once you get there, what you're going to want to do, I don't want you to download the app. Don't do that. I want you to click where it says use the web app instead. So down at the bottom, kind of in the smaller, use the web app instead. Once you do that, you'll be brought into a page and it'll show you all your teams. If some of your teachers later in the year add you 
on this, then you will have other classes as well. But for right now, it's just me. You're going to find Mr. Soper's math class. Click on that. And that should take you into a page with some announcements. Some of the announcements, I tried to do some test, test meetings and stuff like that. Um, and so those will be down there. Just ignore that stuff. What you'll notice is that there'll be different days of the week that will have those, those meetings. They give some directions about what's going on with those meetings. It kind of just says, uh, this is an optional meeting. But what is not optional is doing all that work every single day in Canvas. Whether you're doing this together with us for a half hour and then the rest on your own, that, that's up to you. But this is an optional thing. Some people have requested that we do live streaming classes, so we'll do that. It'll give you a chance to ask questions if you have those. So what you need to do when it's time for that class, and it's going to be 12 o'clock on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. When those days roll around, you'll find the Monday one, you'll click here and it will take you to that spot, okay? If it's not Monday and it's not 12 o'clock, is it gonna help you by going there? No, all right? Same thing for Tuesday. Now, if you log in a few minutes early, that's not an issue. It should not be an issue. Uh, you can just click there and you should be able to get where you need to be and it should pop up and when I'm ready to do that at 12 o'clock. All right, so hopefully, we have that understood. That's the basic directions. Uh, key things though, still need to do the canvas work. This is just doing 30 minutes of the guided practice and the intro video. And then it will also be uh, a chance to ask any questions, okay? It should be about 30 minutes. Some days it'll be a little bit shorter, um, but it should not go over that 30 minutes any day really, because I've got some other stuff that I need to get done after that 1230 mark. All right, hopefully you guys have this and understand what is going on. I'll be sending this video out tonight.